Oh, we got to think about that uh, big green blob behind you. Yeah, right look now. at this and all the red and yellows. We have a really big thunderstorm. This is one supercell that's out to our west. And notice this rotation going into Iowa County. So here's Madison, here's southeast Wisconsin, and this is Iowa County. I notice a notch in the storm and low level rotation. Those are low level shear markers. Uh, there's probably a, a tornado on the ground or was a tornado on the ground. Tornado warning here into Iowa County. I'm not expecting this to just track its way into our area tornadically, but still I'm going to be keeping an eye on it as we go through the next couple of hours because it's holding together through some uh, very favorable air for development. Now that of course is the favorable area. Southwest Wisconsin severe thunderstorm watch going until three o'clock in the morning there. And that's where the better ingredients are for the bigger thunderstorms, slight risk of severe weather. But that's just round one, this round of thunderstorms. There's round two tomorrow. Look at the slight risk now pushed all the way to the north. We're going to have to watch for redevelopment. So we might see a shower in the morning after this round rolls on through late tonight. Maybe a stray shower in the morning, then the atmosphere going to reprime itself for more development in the late afternoon, especially going into tomorrow night with the front rolling on through. Going to have to keep an eye on this one. We've seen what already what's going on to the west. 79 degrees, that's what our average high should be, way above that today. So we've got the ingredients in the atmosphere. You've got some heat, humidity as well, 84 degrees, similar temperatures to that for tomorrow. Now, currently, it's still 78, so it's almost 80 degrees in Milwaukee and Kenosha. No lake breeze. We have a southwesterly wind at 73 at West Bend, 75 in Beaver Dam. With these dew points, they're up there close to 70 degrees, so upper 60s in Milwaukee, lower 70s to the west. We keep this around and look at the boundary between Des Moines and Sioux Falls, 59. So here's our front kind of hanging out right here. And of course, that's where we've seen most of the thunderstorm development. And again, with tomorrow, that front going to be hanging around. Then a low pressure rolls on through with a cool front. So you've got all these triggers that will probably trigger more showers and thunderstorms. And this is our Viper HD radar. Again, that's the cell I'm watching. And they've split in two, two different complexes, supercell here and a complex of thunderstorms to the south. And so some of you, as we go through the night, may not see as much lightning or see and hear the thunder, but still some of you are going to be woken up as the night goes on. So this is tomorrow, especially in the late afternoon going into the evening. This low going to track through with a cool front and bring us a real good shot at more showers and storms. And again, we already see the air is quite favorable to our west. That air mass moving in. So as the night goes on, a round of showers and thunderstorms for some of us, that's going to end well overnight, maybe a stray morning shower. Then the atmosphere reprimes, and then we refire thunderstorms late tomorrow into tomorrow night. This cool front going to sweep on through. Now, don't worry about this on Tuesday. Maybe a stray afternoon shower, but the Big Bang fireworks looking fine. So tonight, thunderstorms developing later. They start from the west, 66 degrees tomorrow. Late afternoon, thunderstorms developing in 84 and those we may have to keep an eye on. Same with tomorrow night. Those gradually diminish. Could see some hail out of that. Of course, the heavy rains, wind, maybe even an isolated tornado. For your Tuesday, breezy, less humid, maybe a stray afternoon storm, most of the day fine. And here we go with the next 10 days. So we got kind of a busy night going on. Tomorrow is probably going to be busy, especially later in the day, going into tomorrow night. After that, things quiet down. But not only does it quiet down, it cools down as well. Look at our temperatures Wednesday and Thursday, mm. summer. That's upper 60s. But yeah. first, let's get through the next couple of days because it's going to get a little bumpy at times. So tonight, if you get woken up, don't be surprised. Okay. Thanks. Yep.